Welcome to Obidos. So this old and charming city is one of the actual highlights of the Silver Coast. Now we lived in the Silver Coast for over a year and we frequented Obidos just due to its charm, these old city streets. Uh, you, can, you can go down narrow alleyways and see you know, restaurants, uh, hidden gems of stores with old wares and clothes and shops. Then you have like the old museum where it actually kind of talks about some of the history. And the history of Obidos is quite interesting. Uh, from what I had to research, it was f basically founded and settled up by the, the Lusitanos, like since the 4th century BC and then conquered by the Ro Ro Romans in the 1st century, the Visigoths 5th and 6th century the Muslims after that who were actually responsible for building the, the walls around Obidos in around the 8th century and after that the, the first Portuguese king Alfonso I pretty much kicked the, the Muslims out and defeated them and kind of took over Obidos and, and kind of retook over the area. So very interesting, very interesting stuff. But as you can see, just walking down these old ancient streets, you see how the, the writings on the walls of former lovers and etc. The streets are lined with flowers. You have like these old sardine places that are super charming. Kind of reminds you of like a Harry Potter book. Like it actually kind of reminds me of when we visited Porto and it has that old library that supposedly uh, J.K. Rollins based her books of hardwood off of. So very interesting. But this is also a safe city. As you see, the police are actually stationed and have a police department within the city walls of Obidos. But as you see on this day, it's actually sunny, which living in the Silver Coast, it's a little difficult to get sunny days, to be honest. But what I can say is that when the sun is out and you kind of stroll in the streets of Obidos, this is absolutely absolutely gorgeous and as you see you have these little shops you could have bought some pineapples right there but then you have these old thick walls where you kind of walk into the main part of the castle here but we'll get to that a little bit later but as you can see high up top you have the fortified walls and then you have the whole I guess parish of Obidos and you have all these fruit trees, so the olive tree there. Uh, there's also a, what we call a Japanese plum trees in the U.S., but I think they're called loquat. You have tons and tons of restaurants. Uh, I actually show one of the restaurants a little bit later that we, we actually enjoyed. But um, yeah, tons of restaurants, places to visit. And then around, you see all these little sitting areas the little net look like little soccer goals but yeah it's a, it's a good place to chill because you're you're high up and you can see all the area and surrounding farmland it's pretty dope you can kind of see the view there see the walls kind of surrounding the place You can actually see that it was built in, into the stone and carved out of the stone, which is awesome. Like I said, the fruit trees everywhere. You see the figs kind of growing up on the wall there. It's 
place has wonderful gardens too. So you kind of walk through the ancient doors here. It's a couple of restaurants here as you see there. There's this one kind of up the up the stairs. But then you have this sitting area, this garden where you can just kind of hang out and chill, grab a book, drink your coffee. But it's it's a really nice place. So here's one of the restaurants we actually ate at. And this was, I believe, Real Casa de Pasisco. Pasisco. It was pretty good. It was a lot of tapas and, and etc. cetera. Um, here, this is, I believe, the pork. But it was pretty good. So if you like tapas, check it out. So back to the actual walls. You see the gigantic stones that the, the castle was kind of built within. And then this area here, you'll see a little bit later in the video, they actually have a huge Christmas festival here. And we took our kids there and, you, and it, it was a really good time. So if you want to visit Obidos, I recommend to actually check it out during Christmas. And as you can see here, you can actually see back that way and all the way to Calda Serenia because you're just so high up uh, around the surrounding area. And here's the actual castle walls, which they now turned into a, a restaurant. But you can see the old granite stones still kind of littered around the castle grounds. Here you have an amphitheater. Uh, I know they have quite a bit of festivals and concerts and stuff kind of going on, especially during the holidays too, uh, the Christmas holidays. So they get quite a bit of use out of it. This building here, I have no idea what it is, but it looks cool though. All the surrounding farmlands. And one of the things that I really want to do that I, I saw quite a few people doing is walking the walls of the castle and the fortified city. So, even though we are a little afraid of heights, we decided to give it a go. But one of the things you do notice is that there is no railing. And one of the things that my wife and I always talk about is how little the Portuguese give a shit about safety. <laughs> it's like, we're gonna let all the idiots die and kill themselves, uh, be it children or not. But as you can see, there's no railing. And the drop off here is quite high, probably 20, 30 feet before you hit something. It's an awesome view though. So these are the same. I had a bunch of camera gear on my back and I was a bit terrified but it was worth it for the views for sure. And up here there's one big landing area that kind of heads back down into uh, the area in the mirror there that's usually a bunch of restaurants and stuff, especially when the festival is kind of going on. And this is actually on the back side actually west side of Obidos, looking back towards the coast. But you can see nothing but farmland. The interesting enough, people actually live in Obidos. There are a lot of houses that were for sale. You see people walking in out of the these old houses and doors, which is pretty cool. But there's literally no place to park, which is kind of interesting how they get all their groceries and stuff in and out and where they do they have to walk you know so far just to go to their parked car and etc but people actually live here which was pretty cool to see yeah people hiking over there
So this here is kind of the Christmas festival that I mentioned earlier. And um, yeah, if if you want to come visit Obidosh, this would be the time to come check it out. You can see the fall colors kind of hitting through. And they have things for, for the kids, the little trains. They have uh, different climbing areas, different activities. I believe they have like a little video game section. Obstacle courses, trampolines. And then what's really cool, they also sprinkle uh, fake snow all over the place. Oh, you kind of see it on the ground there. But yeah, it was pretty packed. It was a good turnout. And they have food vendors in here. They kind of set up a little place, kind of like uh, Harry Potter, which was really cool. You can see all the little snow all over the place. <laughs> all the Harry Potter car there. So outside of the Christmas festivities, this is generally what you will see. A wet Obidosh. I mean, the whole Silver Coast region was like this. But um, even in wet conditions, it was still a really cool time uh, to just hang out in Obidosh. A lot of the shops were still open. You can buy you some winter clothes there if you want. But we, we still had a great time. And this little place here is really cool. It's the bookstore slash mini mart. It's called Liveria do Mercado. And you can get fruit, veggies. They even sell like olive oil in the back. Kind of check out some of the wares here. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, it was really cool to see this in, in the middle of Obidosh. But this was the, the gym, all these old books. I mean, I was so intrigued to just go grab a few and read, but I'm sure they're in Portuguese and I can't, I can't speak Portuguese. So, well, not yet, but it's, it makes you wonder how old some of those books are since this town has been up and running since, you know, the fourth century BC. So, up here, we'll go check out Obidos Market. And it's, it's not like a grocery market. It's more like a, a clothing store, and they sell, like, pottery and stuff like that. So, we'll go check it out. And you'll find a lot of these little hidden gyms and stores like this. Like even this one has a little sitting area outside. Of course you wouldn't sit out there because it's all rainy, but yeah, it was chill. The little pillows and stuff here, a little solarium. And then what was really cool, they had a little stair area. So we went upstairs and uh, well, we'll check it out. So up here, they had a little art gallery and jewelry and etc. And it was completely unexpected. I mean, because you see all the, the clothing downstairs and pottery. And there was no signs indicating that there was an art gallery upstairs. But it was a cool little find. So if you guys are interested in blue art, Check it out. Some of the jewelry here.
So you can see they started to the Christmas decorations around some of the stores. They're starting to see some of the, the wreaths and etc. And then right across from the church, which is this uh, Sao Pedro church, which we'll see in a bit. But they had this little hidden place. We had no idea what it was. It looks like an old place of worship. and But you can, you can see the, the architecture. Yeah, looks like coffins, but yeah. So as I mentioned, it was right across from the Sao Pedro church, which is the main church within the walls of Obidosh. And this church is actually still functioning today. You can go in and and have your worship and service. But check out this place. Still in really great condition. You have the, the gold kind of mantelpiece up there. Looks fancy and expensive. But, hey, this is Portugal's old money. Even the ceiling has a, a crest, which is kind of dope. last thing I'll show you is this wall like I said all over the streets you see all these lovers that are coming writing their name in blue so thanks for checking out uh, the video on Obi Doge like I said if you're in the for the Calis Arania area this is a must see thanks once again peace <laughs>